Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA Car Kits in a 2014 Mercedes Z-Class and today we're going to be installing our Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Kit which is our version 2 of this product. So this uh, version 2 has uh, less wires, it's simpler to install, the module is smaller, you don't need to run the cable to the center console anymore, you don't need to install the microphone, so overall it's a way simpler installation. As you can see it's already installed on this car and it's paired to our iPhone wirelessly and you're able to control it with the original controls you do not lose any functionality of your original system so you can easily switch back to the Mercedes UI and you can switch back by pressing holding the back button either on the steering wheel or over here in the center console you will not lose any functionality you will still have the rear view camera working when it's supposed to and now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install it in this particular car so the tools that you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver, a T25 Torx, a T20 Torx, but as you can see we're going to show you why it's going to be on this uh, short ratchet, a uh, panel removal tool, and this is our hook tool which is also part of a panel removal toolkit, and of course you're going to need our kit. So first we're going to start with removing this uh, dashboard piece and we're going to go ahead with our flathead screwdriver. We're first going to release the two locks, so there's one lock here. You're going to reach in with your flathead and unlock the lock. And there's the same one on the other side. You reach in and carefully pry it open. As you can see it opens over there. Now we're going to use our uh, panel removal toolkit. And over here there's a clip that we have to press. So that does it. So we're going to kind of release the panel. Next we're going to open up the glove box and over here there's two locks so we'll use our hook tool to get underneath and release these two locks. So once the locks are released you can remove the rest of the panel. Here you go. Once you have it out there's three connections on top and the, you have to press the clips in order to disconnect them. And now you can put this panel away. So now with using our T20 on, these, on this ratchet, we're gonna remove these two bolts. So there's one right here and one over here. And as I mentioned earlier, you gotta use something short because of this distance here, you cannot use a screwdriver. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these two. So these ones are pretty long, so you have to unscrew them for a little bit. So now you can grab the stereo, you can wiggle it out. Once you have it about this, uh, this much out, over here you're going to see on this side that there's a wire that doesn't let you take the stereo out further. So you have to press on the clip, which is on top here, and unclip this connection. And at this point you can remove the stereo and you can rest it like that. So now we're going to show you what comes inside our kit and what we're going to install here. So you have your main module which we're going to hide behind the screen on top. Then you have video cables. You have a cable for a USB. And then you have a wireless antenna for wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. And there is the main harness which is going to connect at the back of the stereo. So we're going to start with the main harness from the stereo. There is a clip at the bottom which you're going to clip and unclip it. Next you're going to take your uh, hook tool and we're going to remove this uh, fiber optic cable. Uh, some of these cars might not have it but as you can see this one has. So you have these two dots and a cable going here. So you're going to unclip this and at the same time pull on the fiber optic cable. We're doing this because we're going to transfer it over to our harness from our kit. And that way you're not going to lose any sound. This is responsible for sound. Next we're going to take our harness and we're going to take this fiber optic cable and transfer it over so it looks exactly the same as the original. So you're going to plug it in onto the outer edge and make sure it clips in. So once it's clipped in you can go ahead and plug in this end to the back of the stereo so the lock has to be unlocked and then 
make sure you insert it straight and then when it's almost all the way in that's when you start locking it in place so as you can see it's almost flash with the body of the stereo now you're going to take your original harness unlock the lock and you're going to plug it in to our harness same thing with the lock unlocked and then you lock it in place so now we're going to do the video cable so on this particular car we're going to be connecting to this gray connection here so there's a clip at the bottom then we're going to carefully use a flathead screwdriver in order to get it out of the opening we showed you this cable earlier this is from our kit so on one end there's a it's a, becomes like a Y splitter so this end will go into the module but on the other end there's two wires so the one that is a male connection will plug in instead of the original one and then the original one will plug in to the female side so at this point we have done the video cable and the main harness so next we're gonna feed this USB cable so there's two ways to do it and one way would be uh, do it through here which we're gonna do right now or the other way would be to do it through the glove box you would knock out a hole these usually blockers right there which you can take out but this customer wants the USB just hanging out right here so once you fed the wire here from the side we're gonna catch it on the inside here you go this is our cable so we're gonna pull it almost all the way through so you only have the end right here and then this will also plug into the module so now you end up with uh, the main harness cable which has these two connections that will go into the module you have the USB cable and the video cable so these have to plug in to our module which we showed you earlier so this is our version 2 of the kit so uh, in the first version we did it a little bit different we hid the module behind the glove box so it's a little bit uh, so you can do the same thing with this product but because this module is a little bit smaller we can actually hide it uh, behind the screen here on top so that's what we're gonna do in this particular installation but if you still want to hide the module behind the glove box you can watch our old video so we're gonna start with removing this trim around the screen so with using our panel removal tool we're gonna get underneath here in order to have this gap and then you're just going to use our fingers and unclip it so there's few clips here which hold this in place there's no bolt so it's easy to remove then we're going to remove the screen and that's done by removing these two bolts so they're the t25 torques so you don't have to remove them fully but almost all the way out at this point you can tilt the screen out as you can see the bolts are still in here and that's just easier when you're going to be putting it back so now we're going to feed the wires around this plastic trim in the middle of the vents around the vents and behind the screen where we're going to connect everything to our module and we're going to hide the module over there so first thing you're going to do is you're going to modify your uh, this plastic frame so as you can see now it's uh, two pieces that way we can get the harness on top of it and all our wires so we can feed them up it just makes it easier so you can do the same thing on your car by using pliers to separate in the middle so this has no impact on your car at all uh, so it's okay to do so we're gonna grab our harness and we're first gonna feed it here in the middle and then you're gonna open up the panel and have the wire end up at the back there so it's now behind this plastic piece as you can see that way when the radio goes in these wires are not in the way for it to go back now we're gonna move the screen and we will feed the rest of the harness as you can see we have it right here so this harness has these RCA's and there's also second part of the harness which is right here so both have to go up and as you can see we ended up so these two ends will go and plug into our module so now we're gonna do the same thing with our other wires which we showed you so it would be the video wire 
as you can see now the harness cable is over there and it's fully goes around our vents so it's not in the way when you're going to be putting the panel back so you, you can't even see where we fed the harness through so now we'll feed our video cable up there So now once the video cable is up there, again, we're going to open up this uh, plastic piece so we can have this wire be at the back. And then around, we're going to put it around the vents. And now this is the last cable for our USB. There you go. Once it's up here. Again, you're going to put it around the vents, use our modification here to have it behind the stereo. So as you can see, the harness, the video cables and this USB cable, they're all back there and not in a way for the stereo to go back in. So now we're going to take our module. So for this particular car, for E-Class, you're going to make sure that the switch number five is on the rest is off that will ensure that everything will work properly so we will take our video cable and we'll plug it in the video cable side then our harness and then the second part of the harness So that's on one side. Then you're left with your USB cable, which we'll plug in right here. And this is our wireless antenna, which we showed you earlier. And now all of this, you're gonna hide behind here. So there's enough space for the screen to go back in. So you can tuck some of the wires. We're just showing you quickly, but you should take your time and you can also mount the antenna over here. Now we're gonna put back the screen and we're not gonna tighten it yet. And we're also gonna put in our stereo. So now we're gonna test everything and we're also gonna activate the auxiliary in order to hear stuff from CarPlay. So to do that, you're gonna press the, this number key, number one and the hang up button so all three together and as you can see now you're in engineering mode so you're gonna scroll down here to number seven you're gonna go to 7.5 and for must you're gonna set it to off once you set it to off we're gonna go back we're gonna go to 7.7 .7. we're gonna go to auxiliary and make sure that it's on. Then we're gonna go back to 7.5, turn on the MOST, and for audio source we're gonna choose external amp. We're gonna go back, more back, then we're gonna press number 8, scroll down and press end. And at this point, you're gonna shut the car off and lock it for five minutes. So this change will take effect. So once you rebooted the car, now you're gonna go back to your original system and then audio here, you're gonna see an extra option which you didn't have before, which is auxiliary. So you will use the auxiliary sound source as a source for sound for CarPlay or Android Auto. So with that done, now you're gonna press and hold the back button either in the center console or, or your steering wheel. And as you can see, now we have an extra mode which we didn't have before. Now we're gonna connect our uh, Apple Lightning cable and we're gonna connect it to our iPhone. And we're gonna press on the Apple CarPlay logo. So here you go, you, your CarPlay is up. So you're gonna make sure to check that the controls work, which they do. And now we're just gonna check the sound. So the music is playing, which is good. And at this point, everything is working correctly. So we're gonna again shut off the car and bolt everything back. 
So now you're gonna put the stereo back and you can just, just make sure that you put all the wires into this either below the stereo or to the side because you gotta move all of these in order for the radio to go back in all the way. So we have it like mostly in the middle and downward. You will also connect this wire here. Now start putting the radio all the way in. So once the radio is all the way in, you're gonna put in the two bolts that hold it on top. So when you're putting back these bolts, make sure that you put them in straight because they have to go into the metal lock. If you put them on the side or forward backwards, they will not go in. Once they're straight, you can start screwing them in. And you will feel that it actually caught the thread and it's going into proper place. So I'm using my fingers and then just to tighten, I'm going to use the ratchet. So now we're also going to tighten the screen on top here. We already had it semi-tightened for testing. Once that is done, we're going to put back this panel. So it has these two hooks at the bottom. And then you clip it in on top. When we're putting this piece back, you make sure to unlock these locks because you probably already closed your glove box and when you close it it pushes the locks back we're now gonna plug in this three connections and we're gonna maneuver it in we're gonna start with this vent over here and we're now gonna lock these locks And you're just gonna recheck that these two locks here go back in place. There's one, there's the other. And at this point, you can turn on the car and do your last check to make sure that everything's working. So as you can see, we turn everything on, car plays on, everything is assembled. We paired it wirelessly to our iPhone. And at this point, the installation is done. So the music is working. So again, this was a video for GTA Car Kits in the Mercedes E-Class. I hope you like this video and we'll see you next time.